Let's start with an overview of how to get a sample clearance before we go into detail of every step. In order to use a sample, you need to get permission from two sources. One from the copyright owner of the song, which is typically the music publisher, and one from the copyright owner of the sound recording, which is typically the record company. The copyright for the song protects your lyrics and melody only, and the copyright for the sound recording covers the particular recording of the song. The sound recording copyright usually belongs to whoever pays for that recording. In traditional music business, the sound recording copyright is always owned by the record company. Nowadays, it's more common to see writers or publishers owning the sound recording because it's easier to self-distribute than it used to be and because the sound recording is valuable. So in other words, you need to find and contact and ask permission from both the copyright owner of the underlying musical work and the copyright owner of the sound recording. Then you need to negotiate and come to terms with an agreement for using another artist's sample in your work. If you find that to be confusing, think of a situation when a music artist, let's call him Andy, sings a song written by a songwriter, let's call him Bob. So again, Andy is the music artist and Bob is the songwriter. Bob creates this copyright, which is this song. It can be written on sheet music before it's ever played and recorded. Then, when it's performed by Andy, the music artist, he or his record company have created another different copyright in that recording of that performance. Hopefully, you can see that these two copyrights give rise to two income streams, two different income streams, one for the song and one for the recording. Bob, the songwriter, gets paid for every radio or live performance of the song and he gets paid for every record made. That's called the mechanical royalty and it's paid by the record company. We'll talk about that later so they won't get confusing. And Andy only gets paid for every record made and sold and that usually is the record company. So when you sample a piece of that recording, you're also sampling the underlying song and you need to get permission or clearance of all the owners of the copyright in the recording and the song. That means contacting the record company that owns the recording you have sampled, but also all the songwriters and all their music publishers. Hope that cleared the confusion for you. I know this part is a little confusing, so feel free to repeat the last two minutes of the course if it didn't make sense. Generally, the record company will take a fee and a per unit royalty for every record sold, and they may also ask for a limitation on the use of the sample. The songwriters and music publishers will usually take a percentage share in your new song that has sampled theirs. The amounts depend on negotiation between you and the music publisher and the record company. We'll talk more in depth about this later in the lecture. License fees for sampling depend on how much the sample you intend to use, the perceived value of the recording you intend to sample from, and the intended use of the sample in your song. Licenses can sometimes be granted for free, but usually there is a fee. There's also no standard rate for samples, so the copyright owner can charge whatever the copyright owner wants to charge, and does not have to grant permission to use his work at all. The thing is that they have some leverage over you. What I mean by this is that once you sample their work and told them, they can ask for whatever they want. Once you have the agreement of the copyright owners of the song and recording, you're set. So to summarize, you need to get two sample clearances. One from the copyright owner of the song, which is usually the music publisher, and one from the copyright owner of the sound recording, which is the record company. In the next lectures, we'll go over each step of how to ask 
from the publisher and how to ask from the owner of the sound recording, which, which is typically the record company, and how to negotiate and ask for clearance for your sample.